Boy, does it seem as if everything is just falling apart. Iran has just launched a missile strike on Israel. The Iron Dome is doing everything it can right now. And this is coming in the midst of a port strike across the United States of America. And could today's world, I'll cripple you. I will cripple you. And could today's world, I'll cripple you. I will cripple you. That the ramifications of it will not be felt until a couple of weeks. And once the ramifications begin to be felt, they're definitely going to be felt. I don't know about you, but in times like this, isn't it amazing to be an ambassador from the kingdom of Jesus Christ? I don't know about you, but in times like this, isn't it amazing that we don't belong in this world? I don't know about you, but isn't it amazing that while we're in election season and people are choosing their president, that our president is still the same. Yesterday, today, and forever, Jesus Christ. The spirit of fear is running rampant across the nation and the world. The majority of families across the United States and the world are hanging on by a thread at the precious moment. And when all of this begins to happen all around us, we need to be strong and cast down the imaginations. And how do we cast down the imaginations? We take them to the word of God. All of these things that are happening are a precursor of things to come. All of these things that are happening are a test and an exam and a lesson to prepare us for the things that are to come. And what I don't want us to do as all of this is happening around us is for us to fail this lesson, is for us to ignore this test. You will need these valuable moments when fearful sights begin to appear in the heavens. You will need these valuable moments when automation begins to affect us like it's affecting the port workers. We will need these valuable moments just as David needed to fight the bear and the lion before he fought Goliath. We will need these moments. And this is why I'm so grateful. And you should be grateful that we serve an awesome God that has placed us where he's placed us in 2024 to preach the gospel to all creation. Do not allow your emotions to cause you to fail this test because of fear. Do not allow your emotions to cause you to make irrational decisions and choices because of fear. Learn the lessons. When you look at the port strike and you look at the people that are conducting such strikes, why is it? Because of automation. They see the handwriting on the wall and you should see it too. You see, automation will affect us all. You see, world wars will affect us all. You see, trade wars will affect us all. The difference is, is because you and I are from a different kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. Our mind is renewed. Our way of thinking is renewed. Our way of acting is renewed. The world will be the world. But now is a time for you as a disciple of Christ to be a disciple of Christ in Jesus mighty name. We're going to make it. All right. Pray for all of the people impacted in every aspect from Hurricane Helene to the missile strike to the Man, everything is blowing up left and right. Let us make sure that we continue to operate in faith. Let us make sure that we continue to remember that we're not from this place. And let us make sure to remember to learn the lesson. The pandemic was a big lesson. All of these things are lessons. Thank you, Jesus, for them all. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for your mercy, Heavenly Father. Thank you for saving us, Heavenly Father. Thank you for delivering us, Heavenly Father. You've translated us from the kingdoms of darkness to the kingdoms of your dear Son. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for all of those watching this video right now that are just done. They're exhausted. They're drained. Touch them in the name of Jesus Christ and refresh them. 
that they can remember that fear is a spirit. May the Lord rebuke it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you for passing by. Consider sharing this video with a friend and their family member. Thank you for considering supporting this ministry and partnering with us. God bless you always. And if you're looking for daily encouragement, we have a daily encouragement channel. It's on the screen, the short video that's going to pop up now. If you click on there, that'll take you to our secondary channel. Different style of videos, very short, but they aim at encouraging you daily. God bless you, okay? Be encouraged. God loves you.